Hi, in this video we'll look at using your OR uh, to create a compound criteria in your query design. Now we're using tables, items, and shelf, and so the procedure that we're going to use here, we're going to go to our create menu, and we're going to go to query design, and of course we're going to add our items table here, uh, click on add and close, and uh, let's say we want to, okay, we're going to add item name here, and uh, let's see, okay, item name, and maybe want to find a quantity, as well as the shelf ID. All right, so what we're going to do with this one is, let's say we want to find all those items that are on certain shelves, okay? Let's say maybe shelf, let's look at the shelf table again, okay, zero one, right, let's look at this one. All right, so in, wonderful, in our items table, we're able to see the shelf ID here, which matches back to the shelf that we have in our shelf table. So I want to see those that are on shelves 001. So I have to put that in quotation here. Notice I'm actually in the criteria rule. So I'm working with one column in this example here. So we have to stay in the criteria rule. So I'm going to use the actual OR operator here. So OR, and uh, let's say zero, zero 002. So what I want to see here is I want to see all the items that are on shelves 1 and shelves 2, OR shelf 2. So this is the OR operator. So it's going to show me a listing of those that are on shelves 1 as well as those that are on shelf 2. Because they can't, if I was using the AND operator, essentially what I would be saying is I want to see those that are on both shelves. But obviously that wouldn't be uh, very practical or possible. So in this case, we're using the OR operator because we want to show you how that works. And uh, let's say we go to design here on the query tools and we run this query. Let's see what we'll... Okay, getting our results. Wonderful. So we're able to see those that are on both shelves. So we are seeing sugar, salt, rice, and we also have bath soap and toilet paper as well. And these are on shelves one as well as shelves two. I hope this video helped you. If it does, click on the like button, make a comment, and remember to subscribe. Thanks for watching.